I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. We have seen a lot of overnight rain and storm activity. Several flash flood warnings. Conditions though are getting drier as we start this weather broadcast just before 430 in the morning with a lot of the heaviest rain and storms over into Okaloosa County. You can see right now the core of the rain pushing off from Crestview to Fort Walton Beach and now you've only got light showers around Pensacola and Milton and some light rain across Mobile, Sarah Land, Bay Minette and Mount Vernon. So the heaviest rain for the day has already moved off to the east. And the reason why we saw so much overnight rain and storm activity is that front that was stalled to our north and west, finally getting a little motion and moving off to the east. And you can see the core of the rain just before 430 stretches from Atlanta all the way down to Panama City and across Dothan. That's where the core of the rain is now going to be this morning as it's slowly starting to shift out of our area. Thank goodness. Weather headlines for this morning, a nice break break in the rain and then throughout the afternoon the possibility of more rain is likely and as far as changes we do turn much drier by the end of the week as the front moves farther off to the east on the Fox 10 future cast there's the core of the rain we run the clock forward and you can see a few more showers and storms start popping in this afternoon mostly east of I 65 as we get toward four that's around school pickup time that's when you can see a lot more rain most of it east of I 65 for Fairhope Gulf Shores and eastward to Pensacola Cola and Milton. And then by this evening, we still see the core of the rain in almost those exact same spots. So here's how the next seven days stack up. The high temperatures will move back to the mid to low 80s as we turn much drier. Thursday and Friday should be very decent days with a sun filled weekend expected and morning temperatures finally getting back into the mid to low 60s. We will have weather updates throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.